Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to uh, compile a C++ program with the uh, uh, socket, okay, Windows Socket32 uh, library in there. So the program can be uh, run uh, as uh, internet programs. Okay. So I put my uh, source code okay, uh, in the uh, Blackboard system okay, and under the course, okay, next entry computing, inside the folder, okay, uh, coursework. And then, okay, uh, you can see there's a folder, okay, Internet Socket Programming, and the source code, okay, I will be using will be server my force uh, thirteen cpp and club client my four uh, fs thirteen cpp. So let me move the mouse pointer on top of it. Right click my mouse button, save link as, and assume I'm going to save to my uh, I drive, okay. And then uh, let me create a new folder quickly, okay, and just call it, okay, uh, internet, okay, uh, program, yeah. And then navigate into it, okay, and then uh, let me use the default file name. And I'm going, to, I'm going to save the client, okay, uh, code as well. All right, okay, and I'm going to minimize my browser. So now I'm going to uh, use the uh, Microsoft okay, Visual Studio, okay, uh, Express uh, Edition software to create uh, a project okay, for the server first. So file new project, okay, and make sure it's Visual C++, console application, okay, and then uh, this one, let me call it, okay, my server, and then location, uh, is under iDrive, okay, and then uh, it's in the uh, internet game, okay, and then select the folder, okay, and then just cl click OK, next, okay, MBT project, okay, finish, Okay, then you can see under the source code folder, um, there is no file. Okay, so let me in add the existing okay, uh, server uh, code okay, into my project. So click project, okay, select add new item. Oh, sorry, uh, add existing item. So let me cancel it, my bad. Okay, project, okay, add existing item, okay, and then I'm going to Navigate, get okay, one level up, okay, and one more level up, okay, there you go. So that is my server code, okay, so click add, there you go. So you see the server code has been added, and just select that one, okay, there you go, okay, so you can see uh, the code is there, okay, and then uh, to make the uh, C code, okay, uh, to be able to run under Windows platform, okay, you need, okay, you need to include the Okay, Win Socket 32 library. Okay. So here will be the instruction. Okay, here will be the instruction. Okay, so uh, <coughs> it says that to compile and link okay, uh, the program, okay, you have to add the Win Socket 32 that library. Okay. And then the way to do it is that okay, uh, you can uh, go to project. Okay, there you go, project. And then, okay, your uh, project property, okay, here, okay, project property, okay, and then, okay, let me move this one up a little bit, yeah, let me cancel it, okay, let me move this one up a little bit, yeah, okay, yeah, so again, okay, project, okay, so go to project, and then, okay, project property, okay, okay project property, and then go to the configuration property, okay, so there you go, Configuration property, this one, okay. Expand it, okay. and then next one, go to linker, linker, okay, linker, and then go to input, okay. So if you do not see input, no worries. Expand, okay, uh, the link, and then select input, and then, okay, under input, okay, you can see, okay, on the right hand side, okay, there is one option, okay, additional, uh, Depend, uh, depend uh, dependencies, okay. So, 
okay under the property name click the value field okay so put the mouse pointer over there press the end key okay and the key and then okay when you reach the end okay, remember to put the uh, field delimiter okay semicolon and then type okay uh, w s o c k 32 dot a l i b okay once you're done okay click apply and then okay and now okay you can compile the program okay so you can click the build build solution okay and then you can see build succeeded okay and then of course okay uh, if you uh, know about how Microsoft okay, structure okay, uh, their folders okay. then you can just click okay, the folder okay. use the window explorer here okay. click the folder and then navigate to uh, in my case iDrive okay, and then inside the internet okay, internet uh, let me see okay. yeah okay, iDrive and then internet game and then my server okay and then uh, inside the debug okay inside the debug okay there you go so that is my executable uh, code okay for the server and for the client okay you need to create another project okay so let me okay, close okay, the solution create a new one okay create a new one okay and then under the uh, uh, same folder okay internet program okay and then let me call this one my client and click okay 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 next okay empty project click finish okay the same okay use project okay add uh, existing existing item okay let me get up to the internet program okay that is the location where I store the uh, client code okay so select my client a uh, client my 416 okay and select the source code okay and then again follow the instruction here okay to link the file if you do not okay, follow the instruction over there if you just try to compile or build the solution right now okay you can see 11 errors but no worries okay just go to project okay and then property okay oh sorry okay let me select this one okay. so my client okay and then project okay and then properties okay oh yeah and then go to the configuration okay and then go to linker okay go to input okay under the uh, additional dependency Put the insertion mouse insertion point over there press the end key okay, end okay, key add the semicolon and then w w s o c k okay s o c k winsock 32 bit dot l i b okay click ok okay so again okay, all the instructions okay, can be found over here okay and then build again okay Build a program. There you go. Okay, so it's it has been built uh, successfully. Okay, so let me close the solution. Okay, and then uh, there will be all. Okay, there will be all. Okay, so you can see that uh, the client code can be found under uh, the internet okay, uh, program. Okay, and then my client and under debug. Okay, so that is the executable. So let me okay, uh, quickly okay, uh, run it. Okay, let me quickly run it. Okay, yeah. So file up to those prompt. Okay, or those console. Okay, I, let me do one more. And then okay, uh, the upper one will be my server. Okay, so let me change to. Uh, the i drive first okay and then cd okay internet okay program do a dir change to my server change to debug okay dir there you go okay the server is there 
So let me run the server right now. My server, pick a port number. Okay, let's say 6,000. Press enter key. So the server is waiting uh, for a client to make a connection okay, or to make a request. So the client, and let me do the same. Okay, CD internet program. Oops, sorry. Okay, CD okay, internet program and then uh, do a dir okay, and then change to my client folder okay, and then change to debug okay, and do a dir there you go okay so my client is there okay so my client okay dot exe and then if you know the uh, ip address okay, of the server okay then okay, you can Put the IP address of the server okay, uh, here. Da 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 da. Right. But then, since I run the server on the local machine, so I can just use the local host. Okay. And then, uh, the port number server is running, which is six thousand. All right. Okay. And then the way I set it up is that okay, the client can have to. Uh, make some okay, uh, uh, have to send some message first so okay let me try this hi server okay is is client press enter boom there you go okay so you can see the server received the message and then now okay uh, the server can reply the message back okay hi client it is is server are you ah there you go so the client can, can receive the message okay. and then the way it interact with each other is that okay uh, the client cannot keep sending messages okay so client send one message and then wait for the uh, server okay, to uh, receive a message and then the server can take turn to send a message back and then okay, the client will receive the message and then the client can send a message back okay so you have to okay, uh, do it in this way okay, because that is how I uh, design the uh, server client code okay and then once you're done okay, you can type D O N E done okay boom that's it okay so receive done from uh, the uh, client okay I think it's uppercase let me try oh yes sorry uppercase D so now it both programs okay, uh, both programs terminate okay that will be all. Uh, I hope that uh, you uh, enjoy it and have fun. Okay.